Hey guys, this is Tech Ryan Original, and I'm going to show you how to make the Nexus 7 2012 much faster and better in 2015. So, now if you are on Lollipop, you want to do a few steps on your computer. You want to go on your computer and and download and install Wugs Fresh Nexus 7 Root Toolkit. Links will be in description. When you have downloaded and install it, go and open it up. So it's going to start. It takes a bit of time to start it up, but okay. So it's up, guys. So um, you want to downgrade it to a older version if you're on Lollipop. So now you want to go here and select devices on normal. So now I'm going to select flash talk plus unroot. So now you want to go and select uh, this thing right here. Automatically download and extract. So guys you want to select the version you want. I would recommend going to 4.2.2, 4.3 or 4.4.4. These are the best versions for the ne uh, Nexus. So now you want to. I'm I'm gonna go with 4.2.2 and click um, this and OK. So guys, it starts downloading. It takes up to 10 minutes to download. I'm gonna cancel it as I've already downloaded it. Now after uh, when you're downloading it. Uh, if it gives a hash check error, you want to connect your Nexus 7 to your PC. And one thing you have to do in your Nexus 7 is connect it to your PC. You want to go to your Nexus 7, select settings, go to about tablet. Uh, okay, so I, I've already downgraded it, but still, now you want to tap on uh, uh, build number to tell your developer. Now go here, you have developer options. You want to select USB debugging. Now select OK. After that is done, it will flash uh, st uh, stock Android. The, uh, it will also downgrade it to the version you selected it. After that's done, set it up. Guys, so as you can see, I have downgraded it and it's much, much faster and smoother. It's much more responsive. So as you can see, on Lollipop it was barely usable guys. See, And one thing more, um, you can see that uh, the launcher is a bit stuttery and laggy. So you can do one thing, this is the Google Now launcher guys. So if you want a much better experience than uh, this on the home screens, Disable the Google Now Launcher. I'll do that just right now. Now you want to go into Settings, Apps, and you want to find Google Now Launcher and click on Clear Defaults. After that is done. Okay, still not done. Let me see if it does. Okay, guys, so I I'm using AVA to clear Google now uh, defaults. Okay, so I just want to do it. Okay. Now you want to select your, this launcher. This is much more smoother. I'm going to show you. Okay, as you can see, it's loading. So after it's loaded, you can see it's much more smoother. On 
the other hand, the Google Now launcher is a bit laggy. You can see after I've closed everything and I select Google Now launcher, it takes more time to load. But still, it's uh, it's also good. If you want more smoother experience, you should go with the default uh, the stock launcher. So now, if you're using your Nexus uh, on this uh, Jelly Jelly Bean or Kit Kat, and it gets slow, so you 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 can clear the cache. I'll show you how to do it. Now, first of all, you want to power your device off. So um, when I had updated to the lollipop, it was barely usable. It was there was so much lag when unlocking the device, unlocking it. I got so like irritated with it that I downgraded it to 4.2.2, um, and it's now running really good. It's at least usable. I think it's better than the iPad 2 on iOS 9. So now you wanna press the power button and the volume down button together so you're here now you want to go into recovery see with the volume buttons you can change the options now select recovery mode now when you're here you want to press the power button and when you press the power button then press the volume up button like this so this menu will appear now you wanna with the help of the volume down key you wanna come down to wipe cache partition and you wanna select it so it has wiped the cache and now the next is gonna be even smoother now Guys, so this should help uh, you to use your Nexus 7 2012 normally in 2015 without any major lags or uh, and stuff. So guys, thanks for watching. Like, rate, and subscribe.